Yo my people them, welcome back to another video on the channel and damn man, full time today, 2-2 two -two with Everton, Psh. such a frustrating match, because if we're going to be honest, we should have won today, but it's just another example why we are where we are on the table, not just the fact that we don't take our chances, but in key areas, Grandpa doesn't make the best decision and that does hamper us because when we take off certain players and don't bring on our certain players, the attack can't be the same. And if we're going to be honest, there was no need for Graham Potter to bring on Conor Gallagher so early when he did. If he did bring, if he was going to bring on someone, just bring on Mudrick because we need to stay on the front foot. We have more than half an hour left in the game and we're only 1-0 up. That is not safe. We have to get a second goal to feel secure. Then you can make that sub to play a 3-5-2. He's been doing this thing a couple of games now. And for me, it's just like he just thought, oh, yeah, maybe just 1-0 Everton. We can just lock up shot. But no, nope. Everton they didn't pull it back just once. They pulled it back twice. But let's just go through the game. As it started, we was, very, we was playing very well. Enzo Fernandez running the show. Joao Felix doing his thing, Kai Havertz. The attack were playing very well. And if we're going to be honest, we definitely should have scored in the first half. But as always, we come close, but no cigar. Until Joao Felix scores in the second half with that sweet strike. I'm just watching it right now as well. Damn, man. I'd be real. It's the Achilles Hill in the team. Attack. The Achilles Hill. We can do so well, so well, create chances, but just never finish them. See, even that, Joao Felix could have played the ball to um, even um, Reese James on the overlap. Reese James could have easily converted that goal if, if um, Joao Felix plays it to him. It would have been similar to how we scored against Tottenham at the start of the season. But just these little things, this is what's separating us and this is the reason why. We can never amount a sustainable win streak to take us in to European places. We can't score enough goals and decisions that we make, it just hampers us. Grandpa needs to fix up because it's just... If we, keep, if we put Mudrick on, do we really can see as many chances after? Because after that sub, Everton just come more into the game. They had, they had, way, more, they had way more chances and... Like, like I'm saying, it was just a wrong decision. We just have to do better. I'm just kind of the positives though. Just have to be happy with that. We've drawn a lot of matches this season. We've drawn so many. But we've drawn them a lot of them nil-nil. Today it was a 2-2. I'm not necessarily happy with the result. I wish we won. That would have been four games in all competitions and a three-game win streak in the Premier League. But... Reality just slaps you in the face and just reminds man as to why we are where we are. Everton did their thing. Can't lie, in the first half there was on niche. And to only be and to the fact that it was only nil-nil benefited them so much, made them look very better because we was on them in the first half. But in the second half, after that, after what? After we score our first goal, they just come into the game. Getting chance after chance corner after corner piling pressure and when we when you got big guys like a Decore big guys like that in the box these men can eventually score numerous of times when it comes to set pieces we can see the low goals from set pieces this season these men they are too physical and the amount of chance that they got they were bound to score from a corner so it's just unfortunate it's unfortunate Conor Gallagher he was um if we put on Mudrick, he's a little bit taller. Who's to say that? Um, who's to say that he can't stop that? But damn man, <sighs> the goal I just see it just now again. Like the ball just goes over the line, just about. We were so close, but it's the small little margins, man. It's so frustrating, and I just really hope that we can um bounce back. We got Aston Villa after international break. That's a 10th place battle because we are 10th, they're 11th. If they end up beating us, they'll go above us and we can't have that. 
going into April, we play nine games in all competitions in April. It's going to be the biggest month of our season, make or break. We play Arsenal, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Madrid twice. That's your way. Yeah, it is Madrid twice. So, a lot of big games. Kante is back in the squad. I can't, I forgot to mention, Kante was back in the squad today. He didn't play, but I'm just so happy to see him back in the squad. <sighs> the team is getting better in terms of how many players we're going to have coming back, being fit. We just really need to just literally just put our chances away because as always we stop ourselves from doing better why because we can't put the ball in the back of the net whether it's a post whether it's an offside goal whether it's a player not making the right decision these are the things these small minor details this is what happens and when you play in the premier league the super league where a team where any team can beat anyone you need to not make these small errors because teams like Everton will bite you in your ass, clearly. So we just need to do better. I have to say Enzo Fernandez, great performance today. For me, have to be my man of the match. Joao Felix played better. You saw little glimpses of what he can do, but still waiting for um, a much, much better performance. But this was a very good one, much better than your previous. Kai Havertz. Another goal, another goal, and another good performance from you. I wish you might have done better sometimes, taking a certain shots in certain areas. I might be called, I might be called, um, oh yeah, I might be called ridiculous for saying that you should try and hit balls in the half volley, but if you don't try, you won't succeed. So, to me, um, the attack just needs to do better. Defensively, Kudabali, you played very well, but in the last minute, you get beat by Sims who literally just came on. I can't fault you because if you see that you give away a pen because for once he got in front of you, you're either giving away a pen or you allow him to shoot. Kepa should have done better, but are we gonna be surprised at how Kepa handled that? This is what he is and how he plays. He's had a very great season, but these are the things, these small key things that stop us from doing very well, which is why, well, another reason why I would love to have Edward Mendy back in the squad because I don't see him conceding that goal, but nonetheless, frustrating game, but we didn't lose, still unbeaten in the last four, have to take it as it is, just have to go game by game, and hopefully, as the games go on, we just get better, and we get more results, but a point shared, Everton did their thing, they, um, they necessarily deserve to get a draw, but they done it by the skin of their teeth. They did it, so we just have to do better next game against Aston Villa. But ha, huh, that's how it goes. But I had to appreciate everyone who joined the watch along. Love for that. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Redis Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.